So in this video, I'm going to talk about the diesel oxidation catalyst. Now on our engine here, the catalyst sits within this canister, um, but I've got another diesel oxidation catalyst within this canister from a smaller engine that's easier to show you. So I've already taken the bolts that separate the two components out, and I can pull the catalyst section from the canister. So this is the DO, the, sorry, the diesel particulate filter, which we'll talk about later. But in here is the diesel oxidation catalyst. So as you can see, this would fit on the exhaust manifold. So the engine itself, as the diesel emissions come out, the first thing they come across is the outlet here and have to go through the diesel oxidation catalyst. So let's talk about the catalyst substrate in a bit more detail. So here's a section of catalyst substrate which I've um, taken from another diesel engine just to show you um, in this video. And the key to this working is to do with oxidation and chemical reaction. So what that means is this inside the diesel oxidation catalyst canister gets hot, gets really hot because of the exhaust gas and the load of the engine heating this up. And that's the first element to make this work. The second element is the precious metal coatings on this substrate. Those precious metal coatings are things such as palladium and platinum. So those working together with the heat generated in, through this um, diesel oxidation catalyst converts those harmful gases, which if you remember, were carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons. And the chemical reaction process changes those into carbon dioxide and water, and much less harmful emissions. So because of its flow through design, the DOC is maintenance free and operates without any moving parts or chemical injection. So that's enough about the DOC for now. Next up, we're gonna talk about the DPF or diesel particulate filter.